Hello everybody, this is Dragon we're back for another episode of Dinosaur King. And we've got something special planned in this episode because we are taking on Goma, as you can see. And we're taking on Goma with a certain dinosaur that I seem to comment about a lot. That dinosaur being the Gondwana Titan. Or as I like to say, the little sauropod with a big heart. And there's no better way to prove it than to have him fight Goma. So let's get on with it. Yep, there he is, Goma, with his big barrio cock area. Showing off at this point. Yes, but can it defeat the one, the only, the Gondwana Titan? The little sauropod with the big heart. I mean, I just said it doesn't actually have a big heart. It's probably heartless, let's be honest, but it's, it's little. It's a cute little sauropod, and I love it. I mean, it's kind of meh. But, you know, never mind. So, look at it, look at it. It's todgy and cute. I love it. I, I adore it. Right. Hmm. Ooh, yes, we got a crit right off the bat. It does have the type of Andy, so I have faith in God want a Titan. Look at it, look at it. It's so tiny. I absolutely love it. Like it, it obviously has the same animation set as the other, like, water dinosaurs. But I love the fact that it's scaled down. They actually put in that extra effort to scale it down. Obviously, when it does do moves and interacts with other dinosaurs, I think it does get scaled up a bit. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. Well, we're, we're off to a bad start. But, okay, Carnotaurus is coming in. Yes, Rex, you got Carnotaurus, because you love the thing. The only thing it's good for is for being a meat shield. Like Gon wanna tighten heal her up. And it can come in with support effects of Shockwave as well, which could come in handy. Right. Okay, we're back on track. Hmm. Okay, worst case scenario, he hits me with Burning Dark, so I'm gonna go paper. Yeah! Oh, it's a Mayfly. It's not going to do much damage to him because of the type disadvantage, but hey, at least we got a hit. Let's be honest, nothing does damage to him. Dinotector! On! Actually, now that I think about it, during the Spectre battle, I actually think the Brontokins is buffed. Is stronger than it normally is. Or is that just me? I just I just feel like the Brontokins you fight is stronger than the one you get. It's like we get a watered down version to use, and they get like the super OP one. Oh oh, nice, we killed it. Okay. Here we go. What did we do last time? He went rock last time. So I'm gonna go scissors. Then again, I might go rock to burn his burning dash. Yeah, I'm gonna go rock. Ah, oh, well, uh, it's not the worst case scenario. Because again, we burn his burning dash, we get rid of it. He kills the A, he kills the Carnotaurus because it's a waste of space. And yeah, he shouldn't have it. Okay, he knows I'm gonna be a uh, rock. Yeah! <laughs> And we get Hydro Cutter triggered as well. Come on, wanna fight? You can do it. Oh, that's a decent amount of damage. Given it's not his crit and this Aqua Javelin coming in. Yeah, I thought Aqua Javelin would be better. Okay, that's Rock again. Yeah, look at that pitiful amount of damage. But we get the uh, Aqua Javelin again, which is awesome. Okay, that's a crit. Thanks, Goldman. You're making this so easy for me. Oh my god, another Aqua Javelin. Like, this guy's got, like, middle-ish technique. Lower technique than the older 1400 guys, but... Yeah, it's still impressive. Boosh. 
<laughs> oh god, what a day. You can polarize this thing. Okay, okay, that's a crit. But we got Dynonicus. Which is actually really good. So Gone Wanna Titan's probably not gonna get the finishing blow yet. But I want Gone Wanna Titan to finish the other one off when we get there. Ah, that's a busy shame. Oh, okay, I forgot where he went. He went scissors, didn't he? Uh, paper. Oh, okay, yes, okay. That might be lethal. I mean, it, it should be. It's a secret move. I don't know what type this Dynarchus is. Oh, yeah, we got him. Yeah, the little guys. Wow, look at Gonbonna type. It's, it's like it's only a little bit bigger than Dynonicus. It's, it's adorable. <gasps> oh no, we haven't won yet. Okay, I'm gonna guess he's gonna go paper. In the first round, he lost to our crit. In the second round, he beat our crit. This round, I think he's gonna match it. So I'm gonna go for scissors. Ah! Uh, uh, Zoe, Zoe, that doesn't tell me anything. Give me good tips. Um, scissors again. Okay, yes, we got a hit. We got the first hit. Nice. Gotta give Gone Wanna Titan as little to do as possible. Hmm. Okay, yes, we can continue our the usual pattern now. <laughs> and the little Dynonicus in the background there. Did you guys see that? This is a Dynonicus just sticking in the air. Okay, that is rock again. This is going very well. Yep, well, he hasn't hit us yet. Of course, when he does hit us, he's going to kill Dynonicus. And knowing how much Goma likes to cheat in this game mode, he's probably going to get his armor, his bar maxed up. Alright, that's a tie. Paper, maybe? Oh my god, Dynamicus! What are you doing? This is Gone Wanna Titans episode, not yours! Well, Dynamicus is kind of stealing the show here. Like, I don't want to swap in Gone Wanna Titan because he might kill it and then I... Yeah, like that. Alright, come on, get your thing over with. Oh wow, that was bad. Bad audio lag like there. Poor Dynamicus. Yes, get your cheap little hit on Gone on a Titan. Alright, he went rock. Oh, that was easy. Thanks, Max. Whee! Oh, Gone on a Titan, you can do it. Oh, this is so tense. I mean, it's not really that tense. I can literally, I can literally tank another hit. Oh, we did it! Gone one a Titan, the little sauropod with the big heart. Boosh! I mean, he's using the Tata cannon, but oh well. Oh yeah, like a boss. First try. Well, that's a good way to end the episode, isn't it? Well, you know what to do. I deserve it. That was a great win for Gone Wanna Titan, proving that the little guys 
have big hearts. And yeah, until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. Thank you.